take the corner off here, and probably here and here as well. The engineering skill gap is widening, with education failing the sector. Employers are struggling to recruit engineers with necessary skills, 61% saying graduates are their biggest concern. Richard Wood is head of design technology at Queen Elizabeth School in Wimborne. He came to the school last year to change how pupils learn about engineering. QE School have got new state-of-the-art machinery which hasn't been used for years until now. Richard wants all students to have a go with the equipment. One of our goals is to try to attract more women into engineering as well. There's a real shortage across the, the country nationally. There's a real shortage of female engineers. So part of what we're doing also is trying to show technology can be a clean and versatile subject that, that will attract anybody. It's really good to see that uh, local industries are supporting schools. And the key thing for us is that our students come to QE knowing that they're going to make high quality products and that ultimately we're going to be supporting young engineers nationally for the future. So businesses tell us that one of their number one issues is finding good quality skilled people and keeping them within the business and keeping them local and that, that if they can do that and we can help with that, that helps their business thrive. The engineering sector is very vibrant locally. It's, I, I genuinely think it's Dorset's best kept secret. We have some of the world's best engineering companies in this area. Oliver Dean is the first student at QE to use the milling machine. My product is a, um, an aftershave bottle and we thought about um, making it using acrylic, like layers of acrylic. But then because we've got the new machine we thought, you know, why not give it a go with that? And it's actually turned out really quite well. I want to become um, an engineer when I'm older. So I thought, you know, graphics and DT and that sort of thing will help me out a lot when I'm um, you know, looking for a, a job afterwards or possibly trying to get a place in university. And, you know, skills like this are going to help me loads later on in life. So it's great that we can use things like this in school.